All right, last time we covered the Big Shot, which is a fantastic shotgun. Both of these weapons are good. We'll get into that in a second. That video will be linked below alongside all of the other Art Deco weapons. So be sure to check that comment section, especially if you're watching in the future, as I will be updating it with new videos as I release them. So the brush off is really, really powerful. Like we're talking millions of damage if you can crit, especially if you're using Buckshot Raptor in the lead, and especially if you're using Totally Rockin' Out. And this thing is basically targeted towards high damage damage, single target damage. This is very reminiscent of the Browbeater, where it doesn't have fantastic crowd clearing. It's not exactly shooting in a cone like some of the other weapons. You're not shooting through enemies. You'll be mostly relying on that pellet spread if you're trying to hit multiple enemies at once. And much like the Browbeater, you can double pump this. So I'll try to get some gameplay only using one of these just to show you guys how slow it is. It hits hard and that's great, but you will have a lot of time between shots and a pretty good downtime while you're reloading. So running a reload perk on this is recommended, spoiler alert, but if you run on two of these you can go ahead and double pump it and of course if you're somebody like me who likes to use the baron you're going to miss the fact that you don't have that movement speed option so that's kind of something that puts me off of these weapons and it's frankly why i don't use the browbeater more but if you want to go ahead and have a decent time you can absolutely double pump this thing and it'll be a very very powerful way to go and i also found in a mission where i was not only solo but losing an objective due to lag so some of this gameplay is going to look a little choppy i promise it's me not you guys uh i was actually doing okay i mean i was losing this objective was in the red by the time this mission was over, but I gotta get those V-Bucks somehow. Hey, you just go missed at your checkout. But this thing with two of them was okay. It was alright. I mean, there are definitely better options for crowd clearing, but I really want to emphasize the fact that if you're using a shotgun loadout and you're trying to do a ton of damage, then this is the kind of thing you pull out for like a mini boss or a smasher that's gotten, you know, a little too many walls under its belt. Or if you're just trying to take down a mist monster, you can use this as a secondary. If you're not somebody who runs with a baron or you're not somebody who uses coconuts or something and you have two extra a hot bar slots you can use like a main shotgun like a ground pounder or a husk buster or something that shoots fast like that there are lots of great options i'll link my best shotguns video in the description below where i cover all of the best shotguns but i will also note that you should check out the pin comment of that video where i address a spreadsheet showing all of the different changes a lot of the shotguns i mentioned in that video got a lot stronger so anything that i said was bad might have a good chance nowadays and if i do recall the range on this was pretty okay for a shotgun i mean as hard hitting as it is you can't expect too much out of the range you know you'd basically be holding a sniper here and that case but ultimately I found that it was pretty good I don't really remember the range so I don't really think it ever became an issue as for the best perks for this thing, that's where we're going to have a conversation. Now, I am using Fortnite DB again. I did mention from my last video that YOLO did provide me a video of all of his perks, so I can be showing screenshots of that here and there. So that'll give you a little bit of a tie-in to how it looks in the main game, but I don't have my own schematic, so we'll be using Fortnite DB again, which is really, really nice. And the same caveat I had in my Big Shot video, I do want to mention physical and energy is impossible. As you can see in his screenshot here, that is not an option in the main game, but everything else here is perfectly fine. And I want to talk about the six perks right away. So the Art Deco weapons are a little bit unique in the fact that the six perk gives it extra damage against elemental enemies. And I also mentioned this in the Big Shot video. This is what I was referring to, but we've run the numbers on this since then to double check the commenter that I originally cited in my Big Shot video. And we found that the damage bonus by countering the element like this write-up tells you to is basically like 36% of your total damage. It's, it's really bad. Whereas energy would be 75%. So you're still doing half the damage of energy if you try to go this way, though I don't recommend mimicking energy at all, I'm going to cut to the part where I explain probably the better way to go. The way I like to run it is, for example, say that this has damage against water enemies. I like to go nature because nature is more effective against water enemies. I'll link my elements guide in the description below if you want me to explain all of the elements and why I'm picking these ones. But if I'm going against water enemies, I like to double down and say like, I'm going to do a ton against nature enemies. Hopefully that wasn't too confusing, but I wanted to get it out of the way right away in case this is the first Arctic video you're watching. As for the perks for this thing, this is where it gets a little bit complicated because I highly recommend reload. I do not think I'd want to use this weapon without a reload perk. It does kill very fast, but seeing as you're going to have a little bit of trouble crowd clearing, if this is going to be your main primary weapon, you definitely want to go reload. If you're going to be using this as a secondary, then you might want to go crit damage on here. We'll explain that in a second or a fire rate, etc but you definitely want reload because it reloads, well, one shell at a time and pretty slowly. Now, in a lot of shotgun cases, and a mag size is actually better than reload in the sense that you get more bullets and the amount of time it takes to reload a weapon is based on all of the shells all at once. So the more shells you have, the actual less time it takes per shell. So it's actually about the same as a reload perk. In this case, there is no magazine size, so you only have one option for reload. So you definitely want to go reload here if that's something you want to go for. 
But the problem is, both of the reload options are where you'd want to put a crit damage perk. So, let's talk about that. This thing hits incredibly hard. Just sitting by myself, the copy that was given to me was hitting for like a quarter million. In a party, that's almost 400,000 if you're with maxed out players. You don't need to worry about not critting when your base shot is three or 400,000 damage, you guys. So, I would normally let everybody know that you can do, you know, fire rate, reload, and then double damage. That's an option. You can go for that. If you want to go fire rate right here and then damage at the top damage at the bottom reload right here in the fourth slot then you can go for that that'll be very very consistent output but seeing as your base non-crit damage is so insanely high i i can't really recommend not going a crit build on this and that's where you're going to want to put a crit perk at the top and then a crit damage perk in the fourth slot and the fifth slot is where you have an option between crit rating and crit damage i never ever recommend a second crit rating perk a damage perk is always better it's it's not even a competition you just definitely want to go damage perk on this if you're prioritizing mist monsters then yeah six percent extra damage towards the mist monsters a no-brainer but that's only if you're only using this against mist monsters i'd rather just the 30 percent damage so i could affect everything evenly i wouldn't recommend headshot unless you are an absolute marksman that's just there's too much craziness with a shotgun you're way too up close you will be getting hit by enemies and a headshot is never something you can trust so i definitely recommend damage down here now i can see that i put a fire rate perk here want to reiterate reload is certainly something i recommend but if you're going to be rocking totally rocking out with this then you could go double crit damage again you'd have to give up the reload perk but you're not really going for reload with totally rocking out you're trying to eliminate something as fast as possible but that's a really really short-lived high and that's why i don't ever personally use totally rocking out myself i'm kind of a blast from the past kind of guy where it's just always active always there so i do want to reiterate there are two crit damage perk options here but i, I just could not live without a reload and that just about wraps up the brush off you guys there's not much else to say about the perks you can see all the options here if you disagree with anything i said you can obviously change it to whatever you prefer whatever suits your play style that's why i like to make these videos and talk about all of the different options so you guys can make an informed decision if you guys want to support the channel feel free to use code mist at your checkout if you guys want to become a channel member support me even more get all these awesome perks you can see them on screen there click the join button or the member link in the description below hope you guys enjoyed and uh thanks for watching <laughs> and then